So I have a few things that I find that equity advocates usually do. If you're looking to move forward in a career that is heavily reliant on diversity, these are some things that you should do. So an equity advocate should come in and see the problem. See the problem as it is, even though people tell you there isn't a problem. There isn't a problem, we've always done it this way. We don't have a diversity issue here. If you see a problem, see the problem, know the problem, own the problem. Don't let somebody just kind of, you know, wash it over. Another thing that an equity advocate does is they see the problem, then they learn the rules. This is a big deal for HR. This is a big deal for procurement diversity. So I heard uh, Ms. Collins a little earlier talking about RFPs and inclusion of this RFP and how to get businesses to apply for that and that businesses are not applying properly. So learning the rules from the side of the person putting out that procurement bid, from the side of the HR professional, learn what the rules are that are keeping diversity out. You were already astute enough to see there's a problem here. Now you can look at the rules and say, what exactly is the problem? The third thing they do and that we did is that we navigate individuals to success. Where do people fail a lot of times? They learn the rules, they disagree with the rules, they go to their boss who's a higher authority and they say the rules are messed up and they shouldn't be that way. Help us change it, please. They say no and it dies there. That's it, I mean, you see it all the time. You see unfair rules, rules that don't make any sense, laws that conflict with each other. So what are you supposed to do? You don't have the authority to change the laws or the rules. You can't change corporate policy. You can't, you know, change county policy. You can't necessarily go to whoever your elected official is and say, you have to change it tomorrow because it's not fair. No one's gonna care about fair. So you've identified the problems, you learn the rules, you navigate people to success. That means you go above and beyond and you show those individuals how to avoid all the pitfalls. You gotta fill out the application this way. Uh, if you don't do these things before you apply, you're gonna get knocked out. These are all things, these are all efforts that you would have to take on or your team or the team that you lead so that people arrive at success. And finally, once you have done that for a lot of people, you're gonna be in a position to change the rules. Because now you're a thought leader, now you have an army at your back of successful stories that can attest to the assistance that you gave them, they can attest to the difficulties that they endured, and we live in a time of social media. So before you had to be lucky enough to get picked up by a newspaper, maybe they'll write an article about you or something in a business magazine. Now everybody can go straight to social media and write a te you know, put together a, a 20, 30 second testimonial video about how one of you professionals helped them get from point A to point B. That's immediate for you now. That's amazing, that, that makes things change faster. And when we talk about using success to change the rules, 